Alright, so this is going to be another movie review. Uh, this one's called Girl in Trouble. Uh, this is a 1963 uh, black and white flick. It's kind of a cross between Ed Wood and Doris Wishman. Uh, so it's got a lot of uh, uncomfortable rape scenes in it, uh, which I'll get to later. Um, so this is about a farmer's daughter. Uh, I guess her name is Judy Collins. Man, is she hot. And she gets naked a few times. Uh, she's got, like, uh, her suit and forearms and nice boobies. I mean, uh, I don't know if her arm here is, uh, is white color or yellow colored. I can't tell, but, um, because it's in black and white. But anyway, um, Judy Collins lives in Springfield, Louisiana. She's got, like, her high school sweetheart there who wants to marry her, but she doesn't she's not fitting about uh becoming a a housewife or a kitchen maid because uh, she already did that for her farmer dad uh so she she uh tries to escape i did that when i was about 20 or so uh, and my grandfather died um i just tried to escape to seattle for one summer and then uh and then i moved to michigan where it was hella cold i never wanted to go back but anyway um she decides to go south to New Orleans. Uh, this is about, um, I don't know, 30 years before Katrina hit. Um, something like that. I don't remember. But um, I guess she wants to move to the big city, uh, make a name for herself, even though she has no experience and uh, in the workplace. Um, I guess being an honor student in high school doesn't get you very far in New Orleans. But anyway, um, so she's she's like walking walking there in her high heels. She twists her ankle on some dirt road. Uh, this this pervert dude picks her up and starts raping her. Uh, then she beats him over the head with a rock. She should have packed a pistol or something. I mean with self-defense, but she thinks she murdered this dude because his head is bleeding and uh, he's not moving. Um, later on we find out that um, through her dubbed narration, this movie is dubbed all the way through by the way, uh, but um, later on we find out that um, the dude wasn't really dead, he was just unconscious and uh, he doesn't press charges against her because I guess he got his willies off of her from the rape. Um, so she feels guilty. She thinks that she murdered this dude. She like steals his car. She um, she parks it somewhere in New Orleans, and um, she just leaves it there. Uh, meanwhile, she finds a cheap hotel for like two dollars a day. Uh, there's another old pervert dude at the counter. Is like scoping her out. Um, so she gets in the room. She doesn't like the the smell of the cheap perfume and whatever else the uh, the sweat. She says there's a sweat and a cheap perfume smell to it. <laughs> that was kind of cool. And um, then she starts undressing because she's got blood all over her clothes. Even her bra has blood. Uh, meanwhile, this uh, this dude's like peeping through a side door looking at her strip uh, naked and uh, she catches them peeping on her um, so, so she puts back on her clothes she goes back downstairs and the dude's waiting for her saying like I know what you did trying to blackmail her and um, threatening to call the police or whatever uh, she just walks away from the dude and uh, by now she's changed her name from Judy Collins to Jane Smith because she's still freaked out about the cops chasing her for murdering this dude even though he didn't get murdered. Um, so now her name is Jane Smith. Uh, she's walking down the street and she finds this uh, this like apartment building kind of janky looking thing that I used to live in. Rowood City went uh, back, when was that, 2007? Yeah, yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks like a janky apartment building, and um, she meets this lady named Val. 
I think that's her name. Uh, this old uh, <clears throat> this old woman. Um, she's like uh, an old whore, like in her fifties or sixties. Um, she likes to date married guys, that kind of thing. Um, so she's like helping her out. She she gets her room for like forty bucks a month. This Val Val girl. Um, at first, uh, Judy Collins or Jane Smith or whatever her name is, the hot blondie babe. Um, she's she's struggling to find work. She she works at a hash place where she promptly gets raped again. And then uh, Val helps her find a gig at the as a model lingerie model. Um, then she gets raped again um, by one of the lingerie customers. I guess the dude prefers to have uh, to have the lingerie models come to his hotel room so that he can rape her. Um, so then she she becomes disillusioned. Uh, she tries to kill herself with uh, bowel sleeping pills. I'm not going to tell you the end part because I don't want to spoil the ending, but uh, you kind of get the drift. It's one of those um, moralistic uh, exploitation movies. Um, so there is a good ending. Kind of remind me of Violent Years, Ed Wood movie, or uh, what's that Doris Wishman movie? Uh, Bad Girls Go to Hell or something? Something like that. Um, yeah, so there's that, and um, great movie. Sorry I had to uh, delay the recording of this, but my good friend just called. I won't say their name, but uh, and then my wife called, like reminding me to do laundry and uh, return library books. Um, so cool. Um, I'll post the trailer in the uh, description box below. So you can check out the trailer. Uh, take my word for it, though. The blondie. I'm, I'm not uh, particularly fond of white women, but the, this blondie babe from 1963. I don't know if she has a. She's really uber hot, and I, I would definitely uh, invite her over for dinner one night. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, she's got. It looks like she's got a wig or something. Or either that or a lot of hairspray. Uh, but that doesn't detract from the her attractiveness. I mean, her body is just... It's just... Uh, something that you want to slam. And it's understandable why all these guys want to rape her. I'm not trying to make an excuse for it. Um, so, but... Uh, wow, she is... She is a knockout, man. Anyway... Uh, hopefully you're watching this, Fran, and uh, have a good night. We'll have to uh, we'll have to go to dinner sometime, like on a Saturday, yo. Uh, let me know which day works, and I'll put it on my calendar. Later.